Hi, this is Jay from Actifio. In this brief video, we're gonna talk about four ways to protect enterprise databases, and you can see them listed here. Let's get started. The most traditional approach is where you start with a full backup, and then you have some incrementals, and then another full. The first consideration here is every full backup that you take requires significant CPU, memory, and I.O. bandwidth. Now, incrementals are more efficient, but here's the problem. Let's say you want to recover at this point in time. Well, first you have to recover the full, and then every subsequent incremental to get to that point in time. For many customers, that can be a very lengthy and potentially fraught with risk process, so they prefer more frequent recoveries. So, in fact, when I was architecting backup solutions a few years back, customers were actually doing full backups every day to avoid this problem. Obviously, that adds to the CPU, I.O., and memory challenge. Now, another approach, of course, is deduplication. And what I'm referring to here is client-side deduplication. In this case, we run an agent that runs inside the database application server, and it does analysis of the actual data that's being written. When it's time for a data protection operation, it basically scans the file system. It looks for changed blocks and sends those blocks to the protected environment wherever it is. The challenge you run into with this strategy is that process of finding these change blocks is very CPU and I.O. intensive. And that becomes very impactful if you're dealing with, say, an enterprise database that is already fully loaded dealing with transactions and then has this added burden placed on top of it. It can be a big challenge. And so for many customers, this may not be the best strategy either. Another common approach you see customers use is array snapshots. In that case, they have their database running here on a disk array, and they protect it by basically creating snapshots inside the array itself. These are copies of the database volume. Now, that has some benefits because they can be created instantly. But the challenge, of course, is number one, it lives on the same array as production. So if production has a problem, well, you've lost your copies as well. Another problem is when you create this copy right here, you want to make sure it's application consistent and instantly available. And the challenge is, is that not all arrays offer application integration to provide an application consistent snapshot. It varies widely. And the third challenge is, this is a hardware centric solution, doesn't typically support the cloud, and is different for every single array vendor. So you get no flexibility about choosing what solution you might want to use from a different vendor or different environment. The third option is the Actifio incremental forever strategy. And that is really the best of both worlds. With Actifio, what we do is we install what we call a connector, which is a very lightweight agent inside of the backup server. And what it does, it tracks what blocks change. It's not doing CPU iron intensive stuff. It's just tracking those blocks. When it's time for a backup, simply query the connector and it copies those blocks. What that means is that we, while we do one full backup, we do from there forward incremental forever. You might ask, what about the recovery problem? Well, every single backup that we take is synthesized to be a full, so it's instantly available. Best of all, the same technology works with leading databases, things like Oracle, SQL, SAP HANA, MySQL, DB2, Postgres, and many others. And all the copies that we capture are application consistent, which means they're available for instant recovery. It also can run either locally or in any major cloud like IBM, AWS, Azure, or Google to provide the ultimate inflexibility. So as you can see, the Actifio strategy provides the efficiency of incremental forever data capture with the ability to instantly recover like you get with snapshots. It's really the best of both worlds. Thanks for listening.